Hello, my friends. We are back in beautiful North Carolina at Sam Vic Cormont. You might recognize this guy. He was on a video and I tried to squeeze some INTS information out of him and he would not give it to me. So I've actually suckered him. Did I sucker you, Brian? Kind of suckered me a little bit. A little bit? Oh, he's happy to be here. But we got him on camera again because we're going to expand on that. And we have Kurt on camera as well because we're going to talk a little bit more about the expansion of services. But first, let's dive into immersion. I like that word and I like the concept. The, the word immersion, it says a lot because we have a lot of experience in, in immersing people into our brand. So if you look around here with our center, and I know you're going to take a tour here later, you come inside here and you are surrounded by Sandvik, Coromont, everywhere you look, everywhere you see. So when it comes to IMTS, we're going to do the same thing as far as whenever you come into our booth, you are going to see Sandvik, Coromont everywhere. We have, we have a lot of digital assets. We have the right people to talk about the journey that we want to take customers through when they come visit us. I still don't want to give too much information. Come on, Brian. <laughs> not just yet, but it's going to be exciting. You're going to be able to see Samvik Coromont as a whole, who we are as a company, and, and it's going to be quite a journey that you're going to want to, you're going to, want to see. Well, I know I'm going to be there. I have to be there. I've been, I'm doing the interview. I have to be yeah, there. You yeah, got me so excited at this point. Yeah. Plus, you are so right, Brian. If I'm going to talk to the audience right now and just say yes, when I'm here in North Carolina, I feel like I'm immersed in the company. You I'm immersed. immersed. And I feel like family as well because you guys are that inclusive in what you're doing. So just let me say thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. Kurt, let's slide over to you now a little yeah. bit. Let's talk about the expansion of services. You guys keep doing more and more and more. And every day I flip on the interweb, I'm like, that's Sam the Corman again. The Corman again. Well, what the heck is going on? So let's kind of dive into that a little bit. Would you mind? Yeah, certainly, Tony. You know, Sam the Corman, you talk to most people, they think of, you know, the vast majority, you know, all the sp standard tools. We have a huge selection of it, but there's much, much more. I'm coming from an engineering background and we offer customers to help them, you know, maybe they're bringing a part back in house, they want to do some engineering on it, what's the best way, reprocess a part, we got an old piece of equipment, we want to buy something new here at the tool show. Um, it's a great opportunity to come and talk to engineering minded people and get a, a you know, cleanest perspective. Yeah, you're so right. I'll just add to that a little bit. And it's just to say, you know, when I first started off in manufacturing 25 plus years ago, running Lays, your inserts were everywhere, all over our shop floor, cutting gold and platinum and silver and all these mm -hmm. things. And that's what you're known for. That's why we've all, but again, you guys just keep expanding because I think it's so intelligent that you're now adapting ideas and concepts to understand when a tool is starting to get dull, when it needs to be changed out, what the lifespan is going to be. And it really allows for that smart manufacturing that everyone out there is getting into. We're calling it 4.0, but at this point, you guys are in 5, 6, 7.0, I think. What would you say? Maybe. <laughs> Well, is there anything else you want to add, Brian, as we close this out and move over to our next amazing set of people about IMTS? Because you know I'm going to just squeeze you a little bit more until you just make me stop. Well, well, I can tell you the next couple speakers, they're very passionate as well, and they're going to talk more about our offering and our services. So I'm just going to let them do it, and it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I just can't get enough out of them. I'm trying, my friends. I am trying. All right, let's go talk to the next folks. I tell you one thing, Brian was right. These are two superstars. And as we were talking about 4.0, and I mentioned 5.0, 6.0, 7.0, Sanvik Cormont is bringing it all in. And I got Big Al with me today to talk a little bit more about that digital technology. Big Al, let's yeah. talk about it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's exciting stuff. Yeah. It's where we're headed. So let's expand on digital. And we keep kind of reintroducing this subject because whether we like it or not, Sanvik did a wonderful job of really being known as the go-to cutting tool company, right? But there's just so much more. We've talked about expansion. We've talked about IMTS. We're here now to talk about this smart factory to go along with it. That's right. And it, it all goes down to partners, right? If you're going to build a smart factory, you have to have the right partners to help you do it. Um, I, I liken it to, you know, do you just want an app that types up words for you? Do you want help writing the book? If you want to help have help writing the book, get a partner that can help you digitalize your manufacturing factory, and that, that's what we do. Well, I like hearing that, and we're definitely going to invite people to IMTS to learn more about digital side of things. That's how we can really get that immersion that Brian was talking about as well. And not though, I also want to talk about vending machines. When I think of vending machines, I've been all over Asia, and they get real creative with that stuff, but so oh, is yeah. Sanvik Coromont, aren't you? You're getting creative with your vending machines as well. Can we expand on that? Yeah, absolutely. I think vending, like you said, is getting commonplace, right? You're seeing it everywhere. You're seeing it in airports. You're seeing it in factories nowadays are more common than ever. 
But there's always the question of, okay, what are you doing with your vending? Is it just dispensing stuff for people or are you actually using that data for something that's actually interesting and getting you money back in your pocket, right? What kind of savings are you getting from that? Oh, you know I want to learn more about that right here, right now. We are definitely asking that question for everyone who's watching. Okay, I have been all over Asia. That wasn't just a joke to lead you in. I do see robots making coffee for me now. I do see vending yeah. machines becoming smarter and understanding a little bit more, whether we blame the chat GPTs and the AI out there. Tell me a little bit more about what you're learning from your vending solutions that help the people out there who are investing in the partnership, as Big Al just mentioned how important partnerships are when it comes to the vending side of things. Yeah, absolutely. I think in a lot of Sandvik's strategy, one thing that is very focused for us is we're not just the software house, right? We're going into services, we're developing software, we're developing machining insights, tool supply, which is our logistic software, and we're doing it from a perspective of manufacturing, right? So in our plants, what do we need to know? We need to know, okay, which machine is using inserts, right? Which inserts, which operator, but also why are the operators going to the vending machine to take an insert out? Is it because a tool broke? so we can get maintenance to go look at that machine? Is it because we had a quality problem, so we mainly need to look at that batch of products, right? So it's this kind of stuff that is very easy to collect that kind of data from the vending and provides like tremendous benefits at the end of the day. Right. You know, you've just made me realize that every time I buy a Coca-Cola now, I'm going to look at that vending machine a little skeptical to see if it's judging me for my, my decisions. It All is, right, let's close this is, thing out, Big yeah, Al. Yeah. We're, we want to know more about the technology. When we come to IMTS to visit Sandvik, are we going to be able to see some of this firsthand? Definitely. We'll be there. We can discuss your exact needs. And, and to me, it goes back to all those great machines you'll see at IMTS. They're all talking. And the, the real question you have to ask yourself is, are you listening? And the software and the solutions we can help you with will help you listen and do what you need to with those machines. Would you say you're a good listener? Uh, I could always be better. But We're yeah. always working on be be yeah, being better. Be that better. is for sure. Yeah. Thank you both very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you both My at pleasure. IMTS as well. Well, well expressed. Thank you. Yeah.